By pressing the bell icon, you'll receive all my new videos, and a press on the thumbs up would be much appreciated. Right, folks, half six. I think it's the 20th, 28th, 28th October. I can't remember exactly, but the clocks went back last night, so it's half six, but it's pitch black. I'm at Loch Etiv with Pete, Mad Dog Bushcraft. He's making a, a, a meal for us, uh, chops, potatoes, gravy, cabbage, onions, mushrooms. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Pete's in his van and I've got my tent. I'll turn my head torch on, you'll see the tent. There you go. A foul raven abisco shape three. The only thing is that I've got the mesh in her in it, so <laughs> not getting much heat. You know, not getting much benefit of the, the inner tent, but I'll be fine. Yes, Pete's great motor. Like Stuart and Mark Provacy Prepper, I think they're thinking they're definitely going to be getting camper vans, I think, next year. We'll go and see what Pete's cooking, eh? Turn the light off. There you go. There's a chef. Alright! Just chops, mushrooms, onions, potatoes, cabbage, Tays, gravy. Sweet corn. Everything. Little bit of everything. And it's amazing when you go in the motor how the temperature Oh, what the heat Oh, it's actually <laughs> too hot in here Pete. Too hot mate, too hot <laughs> like turn it down up some more doors <laughs> Very chops look There you go Stuart Stuart loves his food Good lad's breakfast Spam, there you go <laughs> Yeah, I'm having spam Right, I'll turn the camera off. That's just a wee, just a wee vlog about tonight. The real trip starts tomorrow, or the real hike, eh? Aye, the big one. The big one, the 1100 feet, over 11, sorry, 1100 metres. So, that, that'll be the highest, that'll be my highest summit, I'm sure. 1140, I think. Yeah. I've got to say, Stuart, I'm sorry, this is better than your effort. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got to up your game, Stuart. <coughs> voila, as they say, eh? Voila. <laughs> but voila. Look at that. You can't even work it. Fantastico, thanks Pete. You're very welcome mate. Great. Very welcome. I'll, I'll boil you some beans and sausage tomorrow night. Warmer. <laughs> <laughs> right folks, we just went a wee, wee night hike for about an hour, just over an hour. And we're having, a, having another wee whiskey. It's called the Belvini Doublewood. 12 years. It's a nice whiskey. I'm not a great connoisseur of whiskey, but I like my Jura and my Singleton. Uh, but that's that's a nice whiskey. I think I'll get a bottle of that. I'm with a Stella Artois. Or Stella Artois, as somebody would say. Uh, Pete's on the Fosters. The Fosters and the whiskey. He's on the Fosters. That's right. Bad. Okay, Cheers. mate. Yeah, thanks again, Pete. Great stuff. Very welcome, mate. Yeah, and we'll get the big, the big hill done tomorrow. The big and done tomorrow. If I have any problems, Pete will care, carry me up, won't you? Hey, aye. Carry me up. Aye. Yeah, but <laughs> maybe carrying me up. Oh, well, well, I don't think that's going to happen, mate. <laughs> aye. There you go, Mark. Prophecy prepper. 
I know you're you're being obsessed with camper vans. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing. Definitely a nice thing to have. So uh, as I said to you before, I'll be argued. If you want a camper van, go for it, mate. Get one. Definitely. Yeah. Morning. Uh, as I said last night, I think I said, I can't remember, I'm sure I did, about Glen Etiv. It's going to be uh, another nice day, I'm predicting, I'm hoping. So this is a big day, heading up, I can't, I can't remember the name of the, the hill, but it's, it's, uh, it's a big one. I think it's, it's nearly 1,200 metres. So we're heading up to 4,000 feet. So I'll see how I get on. I've not done any decent hills for, for ages, but just, just get it done. There's a better view without my face in it. Quite cold in the tent last night. Wasn't it too bad? Oh yes. That's no yours. Kayaks. Scott's Wild Camper. The wild camping channel for the great outdoors. This is it. The target's up there. Are we up there? Ah. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce the hill what the name is uh, but I'll put it on the, put it on the screen it's almost 1200 meters so it's a it's a big one and we could be heading up into winter I think that's about 3700 feet at the summit the chair the chair lifts are are uh, off till for a couple, another couple of weeks but we we're going to walk it we were going to hike it anyway I mean no you know We've got all day. The only thing I'm well, I'm not worried about. What I'm thinking is I've not done a hill for a while, a good while. So it'll be the usual struggle. Well, we'll see what happens. Eh, that's all you can do. The last time I tried a hill last week, I had to turn back. It was just far too windy. Me and Mark, Mark Silver Fox, Mark out in the wild. We were up a couple of hundred feet and we just, uh, we were getting blown off our feet. It's just, it's too windy. There'll be a gale up there. We're just going to go back down. It's too dodgy. We just end up having to leave at night. It's far too windy. So we'll see a big camp somewhere else. That wasn't worth the effort to just go to the summit and then come back. So right, there's the sun coming out. The Sunshine. Road. There you go. People will be saying it. Oh, it's roasting there. No, it's no, folks. It's not. It's not no, it's it's cold. When that wind gets up, it's, it's Baltic. Right. I'll talk to you further up the hill. Pity about the chairlift spoiling the view, but nothing we can do about that. There's a wee water slide for you, there's a wee canyon. That's the first bit done. Ben Nevis folks.
ski lift stuff in the way. Kind of be helped, as I already said. There's Pete leading the way. Hey St. Clair, that's where we were. We were up there, St. Clair, me and Pete, earlier in the year, winter time again. Alright Andy, Andy Wardle. Alright mate, get yourself up here. You want winter conditions. I think we're coming up to a view here. There's the buckle. There you go. Another wee sweep. Every time of day, that's the wind picks up. <laughs> There's the king's house. There. There's a wee bridge. There you go. Look at that. Fantastic, folks. I think we're heading back down and across over there. I don't think we're heading to the summit. Take you a wee walk. Yeah. Let you see some snow. My people, my friends down south. A wee walk in the snow. Feels good. <laughs> so there's a target. You can see it in the sunlight. Up there. Yeah. A wee bit to go. <laughs> Just a wee bit to go here. If it's safe, we never took our. Uh, wait a minute, I'll turn you around. We never took our cramp on, so we thought about it and we said we decided against it for weight saving, but it might be the. It might have been the wrong choice, but we'll do a risk assessment. If it's safe to go on, we'll go on. If it's no, then we'll just camp. I'll obviously lower down where it's safe. I never said it was a. Uh, it was a bit slippy going up. You had to be again, just be careful. Ah, uh, but we got there safe. It'll take five minutes up here at the at the huts up there. I'll take five or ten, and then we'll. Head for the summit. Let's see if we get there. Okay. Ah, the wooden wooden path. Peak saying just head up that way. Off the the logs. We're heading up that way anyway. Get a wee shelter. Temperature is beginning to drop a wee bit. I had to strip off earlier. Just to my base layer in a shell. Which I should have started like that. I've got enough experience, but it was a bit better at the car park. And toilets. <laughs> if needs be. Yeah. <laughs> That's the spam dance. Spam dance? I'm not going to do it on your side. Oh no. <coughs> yeah, there's a bench we have you. There's a lot of people who don't like this because it's this. They don't like the ski lifts, you know. No, they, know. It just spoils the, the hill. Usually I like this one, Mark. 
Silver Fox. He's been okay for this one, Mark. Uh, as I say, I, I think if the ski lifts are running, what you could do is get the ski lift up and then walk a wee bit, but you're not getting much hiking done. Right, last chance saloon for the toilet. <laughs> I right, take advantage. I think it's hot in there. Is it heating on? Well, it's a lot warmer than the day. Right. Right. Yeah. Hi. Maybe it's wee bunks or something. <laughs> <laughs> Mila Brudy, I don't know, my Brudet. I'm not very good at pronouncing uh, Gaelic. It's a foreign language to most Scottish people, to be honest. Gaelic, you know, it's a, a Highland language. Toilet 650 metres, Plateau Cafe. I think, I think he's up there, I think, or it might actually be further up, that's 7.50 and we've still got to head up to 11, oh, 11.08, I thought it was 11.80, yeah there you go, that's 72 metres short. There's Pete asking somebody about a path, because we've got to do, as I said, I said already, a risk assessment to see if it's safe. Just uh, you know the for the for our walking conditions, you know. As I said, we had a uh, we had cramp points and ice axe and we took a gamble. I know you said you should always take them, but it, it's no really cramp on. I mean, if you look at it, it's like dust in the snow. It's no really cramp on uh, conditions either. It's in between. If that, you know. Anyway, we'll see what see what happens, and you'll see what happens as well. I'll take some take some footage. There's a van. There you go, Nelson. You can drive up if you're watching this, Nelson. You like. <laughs> You can drive up here, save the hike. A slippy bridge. Oh, yeah. Right, folks, we can't really see a path, so we're just going to make our own way up. And uh, we were talking to someone there and they pronounced it Mila Bruley. Mila Bruley. I think that's, uh, that's how you pronounce it. Mila Bruley. Right, I'm going to have a wee fall here, so I'll put the camera away. Winter is coming, oh, it's already here, the start of it. That's the view looking back. Another wee sweep, folks. No do any harm. Yeah. Uh, again, pretty steep all the way up. Not really any any leeway. Just straight up. Sometimes that's the best. Sometimes it's a pain. There's Pete up there. He looks miles away, but he's probably about a hundred, uh, about 150 metres of, well, no, less than that, but a hundred odd metres away. Ah, it's been a struggle. I didn't expect anything less. It's always a struggle, especially when you've, you've not really done any hills for a while. Plus, Karen, you know, 
carrying our friends at the back, you know, the backpack. She's carrying her weight up, basically. I'll get there. It's about half two, so we've got plenty of light. I think we've, both, we've got a feeling we're probably going to head down. We've got up to the summit and there'll no be a place to camp and we'll have, we'll have to head back down, so carrying the packs up for just for fun. But anyway, that's what you do. That's a summit camp. Can't do it without your gear. I'll give you an RV view back, eh? It's an RV sweep at that side. We're pretty high up now. It must be close to 3,000 feet up. That's what we're walking up. Scree. It reminds me of Wales, my Wales trip up the Glithers. And we're on this for a while. Or, or we we'll get to the top. I don't know, I've never been so I don't know what's at the top. But this is the end of the path. So we'll make our own way up and over. Cantilever stone. Is that what it's called? Cantilever stone. Cantilever rock. You can see it. Jed said I could go up and get a video. Nah, I'm not. Why risk any accidents? No, up here then. It's pretty nah. slippery. Nah, it's not worth it. So this is Glen. Glitherfach. Glitherfach. The one's Glitherfach, glid the one's Glitherfach. The the, 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 the next one's only just there. Right. Right. right, let's... Right folks, we're on another boulder field. Check that. Very easy to slip here. Very easy. Right folks, this is dangerous. We went the best slippy rocks. Can you see where we're going? So... Straight ahead, George. Straight down that way. Yeah, you can see him. George, you see, we can't see his leg. We need to stick together. Glitter's fach. Right, we're heading around this. Once we get past this, this long That's what that, that was like. Uh, seemed to be walking in scree the whole the whole way up. Ah, good stuff. Must be nearly there. Yeah. That's it. There you go folks, hope you heard that. It's just up there, literally, so I made it. I made it. Ah uh, no, I think I've done, I think I've done a higher one, the one that's over this. I'm trying to think. I don't know, I can't remember how high Slayak is. Slayak might be a bit higher. I'm not sure. But anyway. Aye, yeah, aye, please say, there's no camping up here. So... Oh, made it. There's the sun hitting my face again. Good stuff. And there it is. That's the summit.
Good one. Good stuff. Good one. Look at that one. Fantastic. Let's get the touch the top. There you go. And there's the board. Fantastic. I'm looking at a fantastic 360. I'll take another few sweeps up here. And then a couple of minutes we'll start heading down because we'll be getting uh, we'll be getting cold in a few minutes, that's for sure. It's gonna get cold, don't we? Yeah. I made it folks, I made it with the wrong trousers on, that's a different story, yeah, the wrong trousers, I'll call this well, or this height, the, the wrong trousers. Beautiful. Just a wee bit chilly. <laughs> See what's what. Worst case scenario, we'll just take right the back. Worst. We'll have plenty. Well, loads of time. Plenty loads of time. Yeah. Um, aye. Right, folks, I'd love to get the big camera out, but it's a wee bit. It's friggin' freezing. It's a wee bit cold. <laughs> I don't feel the cold this bad. No, it's not. It's other I think. I, I think. I'm, I think I'm, I'm quite. I do quite well in the cold. Well, I'm you know, I've good noticed in the that. Cold. Okay. <laughs> right. We're on the road. The road back down. Just taking the road. We uh, we're not camping. Uh, it's too. It's, the, the summit was just even a bivvy would have been difficult up there. And then on the way down, it's just it's not a it's not a hill for camping. In mean, emergency, you you can always find a spot. But no, we just the toilets. <laughs> I had a toilet. I think the toilets. That was uh, probably the best place to camp. So we're just uh, going to head back. So Pete's been out for. Four, four days, five days? Five days, no. Five days, aye. Just gonna head back to Glasgow and then in Newcastle. And uh, another great trip with Pete. Definitely. Always good. We'll always see yeah. you too. Good guide, Pete. He's always a great guy to go out with. Oh, yeah. off. Right, so I'll just say my usual. I'll see you to the next one. Adios. <laughs>